Are you non-Muslim sister? Onna uh, Jaisin, there are sisters having two, same questions. Two sisters having the same questions. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. This is Shihoya Yamamoto. Ah. My name is Ayaka Fujiwara. Uh, I work for a company. Uh, I have a question about... <laughs> I have been wondering why... What's the purpose of God... God's, God's creation of human being. What what does he need for us? And I watched YouTube, your um, your lecture, and you said you answered that we all chose to be human. But before that, why God created human as an option for us? Got it. Got it. Very good question. The sister said that what is the purpose of our creation in this world, and why did God create human being? Human being is one of the best creations of God. All the other creation, for example, angel. Angels always obey God. Whatever he says they obey, they have no option but to obey 100%. We human beings, Almighty God gave a free will. You can either obey or you can disobey. So we are a different creation. Yes. That means all, all the other creation obey a God 100%. We human beings, have an option of obeying or disobeying. Now, angels pass. Mountain is Muslim, pass. <laughs> Human beings have two options. If we obey after free will, we become superior than the angel. Okay. After free will, if you obey, you become superior than the angel. After free will, if you disobey, then you become like the Satan. So Almighty God asked, who wants to become a human being? The Quran says, we were fool. The teacher says, no examination, I'll just give you pass, 40 out of 100. Those who appear for examination can get 95, can get 60, can get 10. Correct? Those who don't appear for examination, just pass, 40%. We were fools, the Quran says. We wanted to get high marks, okay, I'm appearing. If you know your subject well, what will you say to the teacher? No, no, no 40, I want 90. So we were fools that we opted for the choice. Mm -hmm. Allah says in Surah Araf chapter 7 verse 172 that Allah got the lawyer from Adam alayhi salam peace be upon him. God, all the children asked, who is God? We agree there is one God. Then the memory was washed. See when teacher teaches you, you have the textbook. But during the examination the textbook is taken, correct? Yes. You can't have the textbook and sit with the examination, then where is the test? Mm -hmm. So we agreed. The mountains were afraid. We human beings now, what is the purpose? The reply is given in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 56, chapter 51, verse 56. Mama khalaktul jinna wal insa illa li abdun. That it is Almighty God who created the men and the jinn, not but to worship Him. So our main purpose in life is worshipping God. Worshipping God means obey Him. Worship doesn't mean only prayer. Prayer is one type of worship. But if you obey the commandment of God, you are doing worship. Almighty God says, don't kill other innocent human beings. You don't kill. You are doing worship. Almighty God says, love your wife. If you love your wife, then you are doing ibadah, you are doing worship. Mm. Almighty God says, you have to respect your parents. If you respect your parents, you are doing ibadah. You are worshipping Almighty God. So that is the reason. If we have a common code, as the sister asked earlier, if we have a common rule, all will be peaceful. All will love the parents, all will love the wife, no one will. So then that's the only way peace can be in the world. Somebody else says, why to spend money on your parents? They have become old, put them in old age home. This is not commandment of creator. This is commandment of shaitan, Satan. Oh, why you want to help your neighbor? Quran says, Surah Maud, help your neighbor. If you don't help, help your neighbor, you're not a Muslim. The Prophet said, he is not a Muslim, he is not a Muslim, he is not a believer, unless the neighbor is safe from him. Means if the neighbor is afraid of me, I am not a Muslim. The neighbor can be a non-Muslim. The Prophet said, if you sleep with your tummy full and your neighbor sees, sleeps hungry, you are not a Muslim. If I have my proper dinner, I sleep, and my neighbor doesn't have dinner, he may be a non-Muslim. I am not a good Muslim. Yes, I understand. But before that, why human is the option for us? Human or angels? I we chose. You. 
I give, no, I give you an example. Teacher is saying to the full class, if you don't appear for examination, 40 out of 100. If you appear, you can get 90 out of 100, 95 out of 100, 50 can get 10 also. Do you understand? Teacher is giving an option. If you don't appear for examination, 40 marks, just pass. You know, 40 is the minimum for passing. Mm. So if you don't appear for examination, just pass. If you appear, you can get 90, can get 95, can get 70, can get 40, can get 30, can get 10, can get 0. Mm -hmm. So we human beings opted. That's what the Quran says. We were fools. Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand. I understand. So, but our memory is washed away. Yes. On the day of judgment, again the memory will come back. Mm. So we, this life, sister, is a test for the hereafter. As I told earlier, Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalakal mauta or hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. In this test, what's happening? God is giving you children. Your children are test for you. God is giving you wealth. Do you give charity? If you don't give charity, means you're not a good human being. Yes, yes. So all these are test sister. The wealth, your parents, your wives, your children. So if you follow the commandments of God, you pass and you get 90, 95. I understand. Maybe you get 60. Yeah. But if you get below 40, then your choice was wrong. Mm -hmm. Then you go to hell. Do you understand? But, yeah, I understand. But why the test exists? Why God made the test? Yeah. He, gave free will. <laughs> he gave a free will, sister. <laughs> That's the <laughs> test. Free will. Mm. You are. Why God prepared the test? Ah, As I choose. Why he prepared? Mm. Fine. Why did the teacher prepare the test for the students? <laughs> to give them certificate pass or fail, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you go to college? Yes. Yes, when you go to college, teacher gives test. Why? Yes. So if you do good, they'll give you excellent. Distinction, first class, second class, correct? Yes. So, so you have to ask the teacher, why, why are you giving me test teacher? Because only by test can she tell you whether you have got 80 marks, 90 marks, 70 marks, 50 marks. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So this is the test sister we are undergoing. And in the test, what you try to do? You try and follow the rules and regulations of the textbook, correct? Okay. When you are appearing for a mathematics test or a science test, yeah. you read the science textbook. And what is mentioned the boy's law, this law is there, Newton's law. You study and you implement. Same way, the textbook for living our life is only one textbook. Small, no? See, nursery, first standard to 12th standard, so many books. There's only one book. Yes. One book and another few hadith. About 12,000 hadith. This and that put together, khalal, full life textbook. So if you read this and you implement this, Inshallah, you will pass. Maybe 80, maybe 90, maybe 95. Correct, sister? Mm. But why, what does God benefit from the test? Ah, very good. Very good question. New question. <laughs> what does God benefit? Very good question. For example, I say, Allah Akbar. Allah is great. What does God benefit? By me saying Allah Akbar, Allah, is, Allah cannot become greater, is already the greatest. He cannot become greater. Whether I praise him or not. Why? What does Allah I'll tell you? Quran says in Surah Anam, Quran says Surah Anfal, that it is Allah who is free of all bonds. It is we human beings who benefit. For example, for example. Now, suppose your mother has a heart attack. And one person you know, he is a famous doctor, very famous. He gives advice. And another common man on the street gives you advice. Which advice will you follow for your mother? The heart specialist or a common man? If your mother has a heart attack. お母さんが、あの、なんですか、え、心臓病になってしまって、え、どう受け止まって、あの、心臓病患ったと、その時に心臓外科医の専門家に頼るか、それとも一般の人に頼るかどちらですか。The doctor. Doctor, heart specialist
now when someone great is request you you will follow so when we say allah who but we are not it is not allah who is benefiting we are benefiting it is psychology when i say allah who but allah is the greatest oh now allah is say of a prayer so i offer prayer no allah is the most wise no allah says give charity i'm giving charity so when i'm praising allah it is not benefiting allah it is benefiting me and allah is happy that it is benefiting you because we are his creation <coughs> to allah it makes no difference if all the human beings in the world even abuse allah now billah it will make no difference to him even all of them praise personally no different but ah because you are praising me now you will follow my advice once you follow the advice you will pass now a teacher is happy when the student passes or not is the teacher happy when the student passes or not ask him go ke sa sense hai aur kuch nahi kar the bad teacher will not be happy good teacher will be happy so <laughs> same <laughs> almighty god is happy that you are praising him it will not benefit him it will benefit you that you will follow this commandment so god has no benefit personal him. benefit no personal benefit it will not make him greater it will not make him wiser if i say that allah is al hakim most wise he cannot become wiser what will happen you will benefit when you benefit he is happy do you understand yes because you are benefiting oh my student my creation my man okay benefiting happy personally no benefit do you understand yes so now do you believe there's one god <laughs> do. do you believe there's one god yes do you believe the prophet muhammad is the messenger of god yes believe so would you like to become a muslim would you like to say the shahada in arabic i feel like i still have a lot to learn before fine see when you even i have a lot to learn even i even i have a lot to learn i am giving so many lectures traveling throughout the world i have got a lot to learn for islam the learning process is always there learning see when you go to school in first standard you take admission first take admission then you go second standard then third then fifth you always learn even i am learning even i am learning but what if you are convinced on the two basic things which i told earlier that there is one god and prophet muhammad if you are convinced with these two things the other thing is later on for example when you take admission you have to follow the rules once you follow the basic rule the others will come slowly sister because if you believe in these two things your major thing out of four iman you know i said earlier you have to have iman belief you have to have righteous deed all that can come later number one is belief there is one god and prophet muhammad is the messenger slowly slowly you start offering salah you start giving charity but if you don't believe in allah if you pray it will look like gymnastics <laughs> you know and i want you sister what will it benefit me so that we can meet in jannah what benefit will it have for me that if you take shahada the benefit for me that allah will reward me and allah will reward you also you ask me that what benefit dr zakir will you have if i take shahada the benefit for me is almighty god has told me one of the criteria to go to jannah is call people to the truth so when i call you to truth so my ticket to jannah is better maybe i'll get a higher degree in jannah you understand Do you understand? Because one of the criteria for Jannah is watwaso bil haq, inviting people to truth. So more people I call to truth, I get more peace of mind, and my status in Jannah, you know, maybe from seventy to eighty, maybe eighty to eighty-five, eighty-five to ninety. So would you like to raise the shada? Ten go kriyan jo kena hitosu wa shinri o tada ni susume au koto nade. そのあの今私が私がさせていただいているように心霊と誘うことで私のその天国の可能性が高まる高まるしそのそこでいただけるチームも高まる可能性があると。See the Quran says when a believer knows the truth, tears flow out of the eyes. Tears flow out of the eyes. So we can make out, mashallah, when the truth comes, the person is overfilled with joy. So would you like to say in Arabic, sister? まあ涙がおこぼしておられますよね。真理を人がしているときは、ね、涙を流すものですからいかがですかアラビア語を私に続いて注意してもらえますかはい、はい。